The Woodshop is sponsored by these fine companies and viewers like you. Hi, I'm Carl from The Woodshop TV. This is the follow-up for the kitchen utensil video that I did on Friday. If you missed that, there's a link to it right there. I got a new shirt. I love that. <laughs> I got that from Pat. I'll put a link down below in the description to his website. Go check it out. He's got some great stuff on there and uh, great videos too. As far as the utensils go, these are it's a great skill building project, but you can get very creative with them. And they sell well at farmers markets and, and craft shows and stuff like that. And there's a variety of different things you can do too. The like the ones I mentioned mentioned in the video with the the tines that are cast in them, those are out of Europe. It's good quality stuff. Those are nice. Um, a variety of different things you can do, salad forks and stuff. This one here is for doing marshmallows and hot dogs. And it telescopes out. That's cool. And this one here is for the barbecue. So turn a little handle for it for flipping steaks and, and sausages and stuff. I got a lot of questions about that one. It's, yes, it's a bottle opener, and it's made by a blacksmith here in, in Oregon. So Craig at Chef Work Kits, he's making those for Craig. I'll put a link down below to where you can get all the kits, and I've been putting a link to all the tools I use in the video too, so all that'll be down in the description. I didn't mention this one here in the video. It's uh, it's for slicing cheese, so you make a cheese board, hook this, this hooks to it. You can do a set with a cheese knife or a gift or something. Um, this one here, I didn't mention it in the video either, but Pat had sent me this to make a, a pin out of, and I never just didn't get around to it, so I thought it would be a great, great pizza cutter. I love the way it turned out, but I had some issues with it. If you're going to do a segmented one, don't, um, don't stack them like that when you glue them together. Make it solid. I ended up, it broke on me twice, I ended up gluing it all back together and drilling it out and putting a solid dowel down it. Once I did that, every, it was didn't have any problems with it, but that was a, a, a very nice one. And thanks again, Pat. Um, oh, uh, Robin is a little bummed, bummed out. The jellyfish sold. She was hoping to hang on to it a little bit longer, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, live hangouts. <clears throat> I've been doing uh, live hangouts three or four times a week, so I'll post the times on, on Facebook. The link down below to my Facebook page is, is down in the description. Um, so I've just been going on at random times trying to mix it up. The link to the hangout, it'll be just a Google Hangout, and it's on my Patreon page. Just click on it, and it'll ask you if you want to join, and just say yes. Um, I did get asked to... Um, and maybe start doing some live shows right on YouTube. But uh, we've only had five or six people there, so it hasn't been an issue yet. But if it gets uh, gets more than that, I might just just start doing live shows right on YouTube. And this week we are working on Milliput. I uh, I've seen some neat stuff made out of this. I was introduced to this uh, by a guy named Jim. He had some videos up. I'll put a link down below to his channel too. It's great stuff, but it's a neat stuff. I've seen a lot of other videos on, on that stuff, so it's very cool. I think I'm just gonna do some lidded boxes and incorporate that stuff in with it, but it should be fun. But maybe stop by and, and maybe help me work through it because I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. All right. Um, Oh, one other thing. I, uh, I'm i going to be at SWAT uh, again this year. So it's uh, 26th, 27th, and 28th in Waco, Texas. If you're in the area, please stop by and say hi. I'm going to be doing some demos at some of the vendor booths and just kind of hanging out. So if you're in the area, please stop by and say hi. All right, I have some pictures to share. And if you would like to share your pictures or a video, just submit them to my website. It's the woodshop.tv. And there's just a submission thing right there. Just Put in a short description. The pictures have to be under a mag, I think, to, to share them on there. But other than that, I'd love to see what you're doing. The first one here is from Richard, and he did this beautiful lighthouse. Nice job. And the second one is from Michael. He's been working on this one a while. It's neat. It's a medicine bottle that he, an old medicine bottle. It's a replica of that. So he did a very nice job on it. He said he's been working on it for a while, but he did the cork out of uh, maple burl to kind of make it look, give it that look. And then the thread around the top is, he wove that around there. And the next one is from Richard. He shared a bunch of pins he's been working on. It's beautiful stuff. They, they look great. And the next one is from John. This is his first, first turn. He saw the teddy bear I did a couple of years ago. and. 
did one. It turned out great. Nice job. And the last one here is from Dan, and this is Red Oak, and did a beautiful off-center spoon. Great job. Turned out nice. All right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday on my main channel, and then a follow-up here to go over any issues I had with it or if you have any questions. All right, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and if you would, please like and share the video. It really helps out. Until next time, take care.